Hey Pisces, today we're doing your love read. This is for anyone sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. And as a, you guys all know, it's a general read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Pisces, I am taking in personal reads, so if you guys want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. So Pisces, let's get into the read. Um, I'm feeling a sense of fear here. Um, I did see swords energy, so it's probably because you feel something changing and just energetically it could be the triggering of the eclipse Pisces where you just feel you know things are happening underneath the surface so let's just get into this read this could be something happening in your surroundings or to you or you know to your person this energy for Pisces Oh, okay, Pisces. Let me get that. Wow, this is strong, Pisces. So, a lot of you are meeting a soulmate here, a new person, or maybe this is a person you're connecting with for those in relationships, but you have new love here. Um, and then there's codependency. So this can't, to me, this is something that's still lingering in your energy. It could be a past relationship. So you have let your friends help you. You have flirt and attraction. This is fresh, fresh for a lot of you. Um, and this codependent energy is probably the fear. So there's there, this could be either your person's person that has a person addicted to them, you know, like just not over them basically, right? But this is about what's changing in you. I think you guys are in a lot lighter energy. Maybe this might, in that fear I feel could be the, um, probably just the vulnerability of the newness. Yeah, so bottom of, of soulmate is love yourself first and make the effort. So for those of you experiencing maybe um, just energies of vulnerability, uh, you know, the opening of something new, maybe realizing maybe this person has um, children with someone else or maybe you, but let's get into this read. What is the energy for Pisces? The world, something's really changing here. And, you know, that's that energy that I was feeling where it's so beneath the surface. So things are really changing for you. You've got six of wands, victory and success, which means growth. I feel a lot of you are going to really have a growth spur here of change. Um, here you have Leo energy strength. We've got judgment with truth. Three major arcanas already. Um, foundations achievement and crown chakra so there's a lot changing here in your stability you're a lot of you are falling into a commitment here this is a new cycle in your life the world here we're in the world yeah a lot of you are coming out from being single nine of pentacles to a relationship ten of pentacles there goes leo energy again a magician this is really positive. This is really a new love. <sighs> Definitely a new love here, Pisces. A lot of you, if this hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. But this is this has a positive outcome. I also feel for those of you who maybe if this is a relationship you do have, um, things are moving in a positive direction. And I feel like you're also perceiving it in a very different way. A lot of you probably have performed rituals during the eclipse and are really forming um, a more positive energy frequency for what, you know, for your connection, you know. Give more on this power. Why the strength? Two of swords. Yeah. So the resilience necessary. Two of swords is, you know, um, what I feel with this two of swords is of course the unseen this is where the f i see well, this is where the fear comes in there's a lot of unknowns let's see more on this two of swords what is this two of swords for pisces yeah oh my god seriously pisces 
Empress and the Strength again. So basically, is your confidence level. That's it. There's someone stable in your life. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus energy, Libra, Leo, strong Leo, Gemini. But there's a confidence that needs to be, you need to have here of what's changing. Um, I think a lot of you already know. That's why the crown chakra is here. But it's a matter of do you trust? Huh. I'm also feeling that a lot of you know that you're, if this is your person, your person has a chapter closing. So you're just patiently waiting because you know you're their person. That's your, that's your love. This is your love. So some of you have the, um, an, a person who is closing a cycle in their life and you as this empress, very empathic, very patient, very lovingly waiting um, to allow this person to close that chapter because you're, you're all, um, Deep down inside, you know it's going to happen, but it doesn't mean it doesn't create some fear. And then maybe really the fear of, of vulnerability is the fear of change for some of you as well. Give me this truth. My judgment. We are fortune. Uh, I, Pisces, this is all positive. You know, a lot of you, this is also good money. Good fortune is just coming your way. Like... All that retreating that we were getting for you, Pisces, um, really was was for a reason. And I still feel that strongly for a lot of you. Um, but it's because the wheel has is turning. There's something changing in your life. Give me one of these four of wands. Which is the moon. Yeah, the unknown foundation also eclipse charge. Four of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So here we are with the moon. I feel there's this energy of... You know that this person's your person. You know things will stabilize. But again, the hidden... There's this hidden of not knowing. So focus on the happiness, Ten of Cups. Focus on what's going to change. Um... Your person is going to accomplish to close a chapter of their life. I'm also getting the energy that this is the closure of the processing of this chapter of your person's life. You know, they have a queen of swords that's just making it very difficult for them, for some of you. Let's get more on this queen of swords. But things are cutting away. It's ending. Oh my God. Pisces, Queen of Swords with Queen of Swords and Three of Cups. That's that's exactly what it is. This, could, for a lot of you, is your person's person. And things are, are just resolving themselves. So you're feeling like you're in a third-party situation. Maybe you feel... I just feel this energy of frustration. And as you would, you know, and it's valid, but I feel like, you know, you're the, you're the one, you're the love, you're the soulmate, you're, you're the one. So I, I don't know, this to me feels like a, this is obviously a third party situation. This is three of cups. This is a third party situation. So this just means that the, a lot of you, this person was either married. I mean, queen of swords and king of swords represents widow, widower and divorcee divorcer and you know people in separation so these were people who were in probably relationships you know there's a relationship prior to this connection so now things have to close out but the wheel of fortune is here so it's happening it's just all faded it's all happening in due time give me this crown chakra and you know this to be true pisces Okay, spirit. You're on this crown chakra. You know, yep. You know this to be true. Obviously, it's gonna cause a lot. This, see, this is where the fear comes in. Seven of Cups. You're in your head. Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Very much in your head, but Ten of Swords. And it's it's just, it's more of a frustration. I feel as the situation would a situation like this would be frustrating so there's a frustration of 
wanting things to close out already um, so you could have your person or your person could have you whichever however this energy feels um, but you're really focusing on attracting positive energy and just creating a good life with your person and just keeping things positive I feel that's what the focus needs to be let me get an energy for this wheel of fortune <laughs> yeah again magician energy this is a lot of matters things are things are working out this this is turning and the angels are protecting this because you've got this is under judgment so this this is a, a divine intervention as well as a faded divine intervention based off of probably your manifestations and it's coming to fruition you just have to believe Let's see what the blockages are. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, Pisces, spiritual protection. Ooh, 1111 when I said that. This is really happening. Your guides are protecting you. So this connection is, this situation is really protected. Then you have cuffing season, finding winter's wharf. You guys are going to be happy. There's there's a protection around your connection. Nothing, if some of you, so this feels like a very specific message. This may not be for all my collective Pisces. Your connection is very protected. So whatever is happening on the outside of your connection is being resolved. And uh, it's really going to move you through, move you guys through a very, very happy place. So I want to pull a card of abundance because I just also feel like you're in such a um, magician energy here. That means stability is also coming through for you, um, Pisces, because you have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So I feel like it's not just love. Give me more uh, guidance on abundance for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces when it comes to their career? I'm gonna give you this added message because I kind of feel it for you, Pisces. Give me more on the guidance for Pisces when it comes to career. Okay, spirit. Okay. We're gonna pull a few. So first card that came out is moonlighting. Yes, and I feel that's eclipse energy. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So a lot of you really wanting to embark in a side hustle, a hobby, that's definitely something. And I've been feeling that energy for a while. That's why I'm tapping into this. Something, and sometimes energetically, you know, our, when we're finally in a space of so many, like they bring in a new energy for us that really move us through different spaces. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. Very strong Empress energy, which you have here. In God, there is no lack of limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all, all to share. Um, and just have that faith that things are falling into place. I know sometimes we manifest and we pray and we do everything we can, but then realize. So this is a message for someone out there to let you know that your manifestations are coming. Okay, they your prayers are being heard here. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, filled with blessings, and that it that is what you will experience. Again, visualization, a lot of law of attraction, magician here twice, wheel of fortune, your wheel of fortune, your protection. There's a lot about manifestations here. So now we have release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So a lot of you probably also have to release some form of comparison, I feel more. Um, but also for those, I feel this is a, a projection. So again, keep your keep your incense, <laughs> clear your home, clear your energy. There could be jealousy around you trying to limit your abundance. 
okay and maybe for some of you um, and this may be for one or two this could be energetically why you're feeling some level of confusion because energetically it could be a projection and put you in a space of doubt so um, just be mindful of that so let's see what other guidance and lessons here I feel that you need to know red flag tune into the sub subtle energy you are receiving about this situation listen to the message from your body trust your gut and your intuition okay so this is to me yes and then bottom of that is true love this is divine connection you guys are in a divine connection and i feel you guys are understanding pisces a lot of you are receiving um energies you got to be very careful with with um uh like I'm sorry I'm gonna pull this other deck just because I feel it but energetic I feel energetically this person just is sending very bad vibes which is that release jealousy energy I said I feel there's a projection going on so if this is like kind of shifting the energy within your connection know that you're protected but also know that to be mindful of the energies um, and so you can catch yourself in case you react okay that's just a warning. Let me get a warning of this energy. What's this interference? Because it feels, it just feels like an interference and this third party would be is a codependent energy. So not obviously healthy. Yep, settling. They rather settle than to break up because it's not exactly bad, but not great either. So I feel this is the codependent energy where now all of a sudden, you know, their person's moved on and now they feel like you know, this is probably useful information for you that they want to get back with their person. But it's really just a codependent energy, right? So let me see more on this energy. Give me more on this codependent energy here, Spirit, as a warning for Pisces. Uncompromising. Think about being fair and working in harmony with another person. So this person obviously... It's going to be uncompromising. So I think for those of you who know that your person's struggling, or if this is you, um, try to balance the energy. Again, law of attraction here, right? Manifestations, understanding energetic transmutation. So this is about taking back your power, knowing that your thoughts create situations and things, right? So think about being fair and working in harmony with another person. So try not to, you know, rock the boat. This person obviously is just responding. Oh, oh, this is just the deck um, card. Uh, demanding. When displayed, you are most likely making the other person feel inferior. Check your anxiety and depression. Yes. So I do feel the codependent energy of this person is triggering you. This person leaving triggers this queen of swords they're going to be very demanding which is the jealousy the projection right which is obviously because they're experiencing anxiety and depression um, of what's happening and then we have boundaries develop healthy boundaries to make sure you are emotionally and mentally stable it's okay to say no and this is where boundaries are created so continue to you know advise your person um but it's taken care of but this is obviously someone who's trying to break boundaries which i feel they they do exist but they want to break them only because again they're experiencing um anxiety and depression on their end i'm gonna pull on this codependency only because i want to give you as much information as possible here pisces give me on this codependency spirit I mean, this is obviously a red flag. Yeah, King of Swords. And we we had Queen of Swords. So this person obviously is in a very, you know, they're just not liking what's happening. Eight of Swords, right? Their person's in another commitment. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They're just upset. Game runs codependency. So they're in this very... Um, this could be a narcissist. Very toxic. They're just very toxic. 
and controlling all right same cards wanted to come out so five of cups yep they're experiencing the change they don't like it five five with five of cups five of wands the star and the knight of wands so their impulsive behavior it's because they know they've lost a good thing the star they're no longer um the privileged lady right or man but this puts them in a very jealous space to see what's changing. What's, yeah, there you go. Four of Swords and the Devil and the Four of Cups. Yep, Empress is here. You're here and they just don't like it. And the fact that they have to sit back and watch. This person just boils. They're, that cup is boiling. Let's just say Pisces. This person's cup is boiling. And there's nothing you can do about that. They're, you stay in your Empress energy, right? Yep. Pre-Empress energy, let, let the situation unfold. Your person's going to know what to do. Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, it's over. It's over. Again, Seven of Pentacles in this deck is called Patience and Planning and Ace of Pentacles because a new beginning is here. You know, you guys will, will conquer this minor, you know, um, you both are going to conquer this cycle it's over you know true love this is it this is your divine counterpart this is your connection here pisces so this is very specific for a lot of you um let's pull some guidance what's the guidance for pisces yeah self-care so be the empress that you are continue to take care of yourself you can only take care of others if you first take care of you revitalize yourself and bring your back to your power and let others be inspired to do the same lead by example so stay in your empress power here which always means to take care of yourself that's not selfish that's just self-care we have growth yep the flowers that I have planted are growing from every corner and envelope me there's a lot of growth taking place um, a lot of you are experiencing this amazing space for yourself. I feel a lot of you is in your career. So things are shifting in a very positive direction because of the focus you've had on you, especially when it comes to your career and stuff. And the celebration, yes, there are w wonderful times ahead. Spirit is definitely confirming that. To see the light at the end of the tunnel is a sight worth celebrating. Take note on how it shines on you. So you guys, you and your loved one, loved one is going to celebrate after this chapter is closed this could be a finalizing of divorce but again something's coming to um close here uh, so you will have a lot to celebrate um, down the line so just be patient with the process be in your empress energy take care of yourself and continue to love yourself okay pisces i love you please like share subscribe click that bell button if you enjoy my frequency